this is called an ambulance. And we pick up people and what do we, what do, we do with them? We take them to the hospital, right? National Night Out is a national event, first Tuesday in August every year. It's a night to get the uh, community out with their law enforcement uh, partners. We'll be in full uniform and we're out and we're speaking with uh, the, uh, the public and the, the children, but they see us serving hot dogs to them. We've got giveaways for the kids, little games and toys and different things like that that we'll give away. There you go. It's backwards. You. Oh, it's yeah. backwards. You'll get wet that way. There you yeah. go. Just let them see that you know we're all human, kind of humanize the humanize the badge, so to speak. I think it's nice for the community to see these people out in a happy environment so they feel comfortable when they run into them maybe in an emergency situation or something you know more urgent. I think it's great for the whole community to be able to come together and do something like this and I appreciate the EMS, EMTs, police departments doing this and I'm glad that Pandora and Bluffton are able to do it together. I think it really helps out a lot with the with the youth as well as the adults mingling with the, the police department and activity and all that. Yeah. I enjoy coming down. Me and three councilmen, we've done this for four or five years now, and so we have a good time. Police have got a bad rap over the years, and hopefully having a night like this, well, Bring the people together and know that, you know, the police are there to be your friend, not to look for you to give you a ticket or a ratio or bring them out, show them, show them what they really, they're human beings, just like the rest of us, you know. With this event, um, I do believe that uh, since we've been doing it, it does help people be more comfortable to come up and speak with us. H however, in our community, our small setting, uh, the police department here, uh, our relationship with the, the residents and the businesses here in town has always been great. Uh, very supportive community for our law enforcement. And this just helps, helps make those, those ties a little, little stronger uh, in the community. There's always room for improvement in communication. One of the things that, that we try to stress to people, we don't have our own dispatch center. We're dispatched through the county sheriff's office. So a lot of people will call our local police number and they'll leave a voicemail and we may not get back to them for hours because we don't always have somebody in the office to check that voicemail. So we try to, and we've actually used this night uh, over the years with some literature to say, hey, if, if you really need something that doesn't need to wait a couple hours, make sure you use the non-emergency number for the sheriff's office. This event for the chamber is basically a thank you to the community and a thank you for the first responders. The first responders put on National Night Out and then the Chamber of Commerce does the fireworks afterwards. So um, it's just our way of saying thank you to them and thank you to the community. The first shot will be all blue for our police officers and in remembrance of Officer Francis. Then it'll be followed by shots of red and shots of white for our fire and EMS. <laughs> 